I was a hell of a handicapper, I can tell you that. I had it down so good that I ran paradise on earth. I had one of the biggest casinos in Las Vegas to run for Tangiers. You know, if I did it, I'd have to run it my way. Nobody's gonna interfere with you running the casino, I guarantee you. Mickey, you're a guy. Make a lot of money for us, or so keep a good eye on it. All right. Look at this place, it's made of money. What do you think about me moving out here? I just gotta tell you, it's no joke out here. You gotta keep a low profile. Right off the bat, they don't like guys like us. Oh, yeah, oh. You like your money a lot, yes, don't you? Yes, a lot. Don't you? Well, how about that? Yeah. Oh, oh, settle down i want a family you got the wrong girl you'll be set up for the rest of your life you don't know me what do you know me two three months they had it all they ran the show and it was paradise while it lasted they found a guy's head in the desert that's no good we got a problem he doesn't listen to me. Maybe he should get lost for a while. Take a vacation. Can't make it any clearer, Sam. I would just get out. I try to do everything for you, even though I knew deep down inside you would bury me. I buried you. You buried yourself. I have to be able to trust you with my life. Can I trust you? Can I trust you? I will go to the FBI. I will go to the police. I am not protecting you anymore. You want me to get out of my own town? You only exist out here because of me. He's a loose cannon. No! Stop it! You realize what you can do? You can get us all killed? You want to get rid of me? Here I am. Go ahead, get rid of me. Too much. They've got your bug. I get a lock. There! And the bug's in your skull. Take this thing out of the case and stick it up your nose. Don't worry, it's self-guiding. Got him. I lost him. Welcome to Mars. You got a lot of nerve showing your face around here. Look who's talking. You erased your identity and implanted a new one. If I'm not me, who the hell am I? He's got a hologram! Welcome to Johnny Cab. Drive! Where can I take you tonight? <laughs> Please fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> I want Quaid delivered alive for re-implantation. That's for making me come to Mars. You wouldn't hurt me. After all, we're married. Consider that a divorce. Hope you enjoyed the ride. So we got 31 stab wounds. What was it? Ice pick. I'd like to speak to a Miss Catherine Tremell, please. Is she a suspect? She's a writer. She published a novel. It's about a retired rock and roll star who gets murdered by his girlfriend. You know how she does the boyfriend with an ice pick? She intended the book to be her alibi. You didn't feel anything for him. You just had sex with him for your book. In the beginning, he gave me a lot of pleasure. You like playing games. Games are fun. 
What's your new book about? A detective. He falls for the wrong woman. What happens? She kills him. How's it feel to kill someone? You tell me. People. She manipulates people. She's evil! Freeze! I have nothing to hide. You playing a game here? I'm pretty cool. Games are over. This is my town! If you live to see the dawn, it's because I allow it. I decide who lives or who dies. In a town called Redemption, death is a way of life. Some fight for money. Some fight for glory. But one stranger has come here looking for something else. I now declare the quick draw competition open. Anybody can challenge anybody. Sign me up. Sure must want to die young, miss. She can play their game. Want to play poker with me, little lady? Looks like you're having a pretty good time playing with yourself. She can beat their odds. Did you ever kill anyone? Sure. I don't think you have. But there's one thing she can't do. Why are you really here? You're no gunfighter. Forget the past. Daddy! String him up! Put him on a chair! Some people deserve to die. TriStar Pictures presents Sharon Stone. I'm gonna kill you if I have to ride all the way to hell to do it. Gene Hackman. There's nothing on this earth that frightens me now. Nothing. Leonardo DiCaprio. Hey, my face. In a film by Sam Raimi. The Quick and the Dead. In this town, you're either one or the other. My son, Kevin, lives in this world of books and ideas, but Kevin would trade it all for a chance to be normal. Hey, check out the March of Dimes. I don't have no friends, and I don't need no friends. Think of it as a partnership. You need a brain, and I need legs. And the Wizard of Oz doesn't live in South Cincinnati. Sharon Stone gives an Oscar-worthy performance in a beautiful and touching film that will steal your heart. When two outcasts unite as one in a powerful friendship that no one can destroy. Dragons we've slain, a rescue many more Nominated for two Golden Globe Awards, including Best Supporting Actress, Sharon Stone, also starring Gina Rollins, Gillian Anderson, Kieran Culkin, and directed by Peter Chesum. The Mighty. Prestigious address. So you're moving in today. Welcome to 113. You'll like it here. I will. Thank you. Oh! They're doing it! An incredible view. Oh. Let me see. Let me see. <gasps> Would you look at her? She's a boy here. She can't get him out. But from the moment she moved in... I don't have anything to wear. Where would I send you? Someone was watching. You can tell me your secrets. 
What secrets do I have? I'd never tell. Someone was waiting. You just really look like someone. What's really strange is she was in 20B as well. When did she move? Well, well she didn't. She, she jumped out the window. Someone who knows her fantasies. I don't want to get hurt. I could never hurt you. And sees her every move. The guy in 23B apparently fell on the shower and broke his neck. Four people died here in two years. What does that tell you? Mr. Hale. How long have you lived How do you feel about all these accidents? I need to talk to you about something. Fighter, are you there? It's really important. Sharon Stone. William Baldwin. Would you just listen to me? I wouldn't kill anyone. Tom Berenger. He's coming back here, isn't he? At 113 East 38th Street. You're making me do something I don't want to do. The view from the outside Ready? is nothing compared to the view inside. Sliver. Think of a, a woman committing a crime like that. I mean, I don't anyway. It's that, that brutal. <laughs> Most of the time a woman kills, it's a crime of passion. I know what I did. Some things can't be forgiven. If it's carried out, Cindy Liggett will be the first woman in 11 years to be executed in the state. Hi, I'm Rick Hayes. I'm with the Clemens Court. Would you like to have a seat? long you had this job. A lot more women are going to be executed now. They all want equal treatment in the eyes of the law. <laughs> no, Liga shouldn't keep you that busy. It's a pretty open and shut case. Why not let it go? Everyone gave up on her. You probably think you know everything about me. You think I'm going to die? I do not want to die, okay? But if I die, it's going to be on my terms. You got that? My terms. We served our death warrant last night. Executions in 30 days. I guess you know everything now. Liggett is scheduled to die by lethal injection in less than 24 hours. The Attorney General's office is totally behind us, and so is the public, and we're going to see the sentence carried out. Is she the one getting clemency? Governor, I'd like to talk to you about Cindy Liggett. I mean, who's going to live, me or the white girl? I urge you to reconsider. I believe that this woman deserves clemency. She's grown. She's a different person now. It's not so bad. Now what comes next? You were working late. Perfect house for the perfect couple. Don't you touch me! I'll tell you a secret. It wasn't so perfect. What happened with us? You fell in love with another woman. I mean, before that. You don't live with her anymore, but your car still does. Is that it? What else do you leave there? A toothbrush? A daughter. They had a family. We were a corporation with a kid. Dad? Yeah. Will you come to the island with me for Easter? You got a daughter in the house. You got Sally in the office. You got the girlfriend somewhere else. I can't give you what you had with them. I want history. You don't have a history. You can be quiet. I say, are you in love with her? And then you say, well, I don't know. I'm so confused. I need a little time. Megan, I'm not trying to replace anybody. I just want to make your father happy. You give it a shot? Haley, if you just felt this a little more, a little more upset, it wouldn't have happened. You want a dream house. You and me, one end, 
kind of the other end. There's Sally and Megan. Still have that hotel room? Hotel rooms can be nice. No past, no future. I don't want to lose you. I can't lose you. I want to be with you. Whatever you're going to do, do it. I didn't have to get married to have lousy sex. No, I did. Don't you run away from me! <laughs> No, you're dead, this is heaven, and I'm the Virgin Mary. What happened to your eyes? Your husband was in one of his moods again. It's not right. Wife and mistress being so chummy, especially since she knows. We're never gonna be free until he's dead. Killing him is a good thing. Like planting a tree. One good drink ought to do it. Cheers. Well, you can take the girl out of the convent. Now we can get on with our evening. never hurt us again. What are you so jumpy about? I was a young doorman here, and I greeted everyone. FDR, Truman, Premier Khrushchev, all of them. The Academy Awards were held here a total of six times. No scandals, happy times here. Senator Kennedy, welcome to the Ambassador Hotel. Thank you very much. Buses are loading, gentlemen. Bobby Kennedy needs to get elected. I thought you guys were doing volunteer work. Not when you volunteer the work for the Kennedys. It's a full-time crusade. I'm getting complaints that you're not allowing the kitchen staff to vote today. They're not gonna vote. Half of them are illegal. They can't vote. Every day you keep putting the brown man down, Edward. That's right. Let's keep the brown man down. Let's send the brown man back across the border. We didn't cross the border. The border crossed us. <laughs> you're on stage in Night Sharp. Then you're introducing Senator Kennedy in the embassy ballroom. So sad. That woman. I used to be such a fan. I'm not sure about this. If marrying you tonight keeps you from going to Vietnam, then it's worth it. What if Kennedy loses? We can all forget it, man. I'm 19, Jimmy. I don't want to go to Vietnam. Do you? Now that Dr. King is gone, no one left but Bobby. No one. The next president of the United States, Senator Robert F. Kennedy. Our lives on this planet are too short. The work to be done is too great. But we can perhaps remember that those who live with us are our brothers, that they share with us the same short moment of life.